What up, though, homies and homies? It's your homeboy, Grand Tizzle. Welcome back to the lab. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscription button and that notification bell, because you're going to like what we got going on over here. In the previous tutorial, I showed you my approach to the neon light effect. In this tutorial, we're going to use molds to spill light on the face. A real simple technique, but you can use this in your arsenal. Without further ado, let's get it cracking. Welcome back and we're here for some more, some more insight on some more things that we can do with these uh, color layers and these um, color modes and using the pen tool. This time what we're going to do is, we're going to take it a little step further. We're going to paint her face with light. So let's go ahead and have fun with that. As, as you see, this was the last tutorial. So we're going to go ahead and suck all these boys back up off here right and um let's go ahead and you already know how to use the pen tool you already know the effect of the pen tool so we're going to create another layer and um we're going to go over here and we're going to make a line up here bam boom right actually i want that to be perfect so let me undo that and i'm gonna hold shift right okay boom i don't know if that's right but here let's right click on that and we create a stroke path but actually here something we got to do we got to put that back to light i mean white and then we also got to make sure that our brush is the correct selection because you know in the last tutorial i changed it around but this tutorial we're going to go back to the roots all right so you see the size is too big so you want to use your bracket your left bracket and you can shrink that down to the size you want now we want maybe a, a a little bigger size light bar so now that we got our size correct we're going to go back over to the pen tool right click stroke path hit okay now we got one light popping off right so what we can do here i'll tell you what we ain't finna um keep doing that here let me right click we're going to delete that path and let's just make two more layers one and I'm going to uh, two. And we're going to take one of these and I'm going to just hover over it. And as, as you can see, I got this little curly thing going. I'm going to hold shift. As we pull it down, it snaps. Bam, bam, bam. Like perfect, right? And now we got our vertical lines going. So we're going to put that light over by that side of the face. And maybe we can pull it up. Oops, actually here. Let me hold shift because I don't want the size to change. I just want the the length okay and then i'm gonna uh here let's delete the second one and all we're gonna do is just copy this one hold drag it down and um hold it hold shift drag it's gonna be perfect perfect drag okay cool now we're just gonna do the same effect let's go over here and add a glow so we could go to our layer layer style and um let's go to uh outer glow and then let's make this um Let's make this gold, since there's a lot of gold in that area, right? So let's go ahead and hit there. Bam, boom. And we could tweak it to our taste. Mm, let me see, I'm gonna adjust this to, let's say here. And uh, maybe, let me see if I can make that inner glow. If I can make that inner glow hot, so I'll make that yellow. And um, that can possibly, here, let's make this normal. Okay, yeah, we're getting a little yellow happening. Okay, good, because I really want it like fiery hot. Okay, that's too much. All right. Just a little, little on the edge. Cool. Let's see if I change the... Okay, no. All right, so we're going to put this on normal, but we're going to go back here and adjust this. Uh, we want that pretty hot, so let's see. Hit okay. We can adjust this. All right, we're gonna make this super hot because we're gonna go, we're gonna double that layer. So let's hit okay. And then we will double that, hold control D. Nope, sorry. Control D. Uh-oh. Oh, something wrong. Something's stopping me from copying it. Sorry about that. Here, let me just drag and put it there. Okay, cool. And then let's double click on this and we will fade here we can take that inner out 
Set that in the raw, and then we'll just uh, fade this up. Yeah. Right, nice and hot. So we got that nice and hot there. Right, like real light. Like you looking, you know you're not looking at light, but when you look at this, you really feel like you are, you're looking at light. Now, um, we're gonna add some the other stuff to this later. Here, let's move this up a little, and maybe let's see. I'm gonna hold control, drag it to shrink it. Hold control, drag it to shrink it. All right, and um, here let's. Here, so we won't have to waste time. We're gonna copy this uh, layer. Let's copy this layer style and apply it to here. And then I right click and then we just paste that layer style and then we can build off of that. So let's double click on that and we'll turn this color to, I don't know what y'all, uh, mm, what, blue? Yeah, blue or neon or whatever, you know. All right, and then I'm uh, we're gonna, uh, here, let's do that. And then let's go get that inner glow. And then that inner glow, you know, gotta be, you know, like something stupid bright or whatever. We hit okay, make sure that's on normal. And let's see how much we can blow it up. All right, just about right there. And then we really want this hot and popping. So what can we do here? Let's see. Uh, uh, Okay, maybe, maybe that. Uh, we need to adjust the sound. Yeah, there we go. Something, uh, something, huh? Okay, we need to see that. It's a, okay, cool, cool. All right, and um, of course, we want to duplicate that layer too. So I'll hold Control D. And of course, it's not gonna do it right now. So we'll stack that layer. And then let's soften that. We're gonna double click the effect, turn off that inner, go to that outer glow, and uh, soften that boy. Yeah, just like that. And to preserve some time, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna just go ahead and delete that, right? We're just going ahead and finna start adding the color to it. So now to do that, we wanna create a new layer, right? Boom. I'm whispering like it's a secret. It is a secret because the masses don't want you to know, but your homie Grand Tizzle do. So let's go ahead and pick that color, and then we're gonna go ahead and go to my uh, color. Bam! And then once we got color, then we're gonna go over here. Make sure we got that that uh, fade brush. Boom! We're gonna use our bracket to blow it up, and guess what we're gonna do? Hit the edge like that, boy. You figure deal me now. Bam, look at that. Look at the beauty, right? And then we can even go here. Let's get this go here. And just select that. And then hit that right there. And uh, just hit that side like, bam. Look at the beauty. You figure dealing me now. And, um, and then here, let's add some madness. Another layer. Then we're gonna go to um, uh, Lanier Dodge, and we're gonna put those glows back on it. But this time, the glow's gonna be on the colors that we already did. So, here, let's zoom in on that, and uh, let's see if we can, bam, bam, look. Look at that, you see that? And then, and then oh, and then if we wanna make it even brighter, y'all already know the rules. As we get lighter, you can, oops, that's too much. Back up off that, homie. Right? Uh, maybe just a cheek. Okay, that's cool. Right? Okay, cool. And uh, let's do the same thing for over here. We we'll start off dark. A few highlights. Let's highlight some of that. Just hit that. And then let's let's hit like that right there. Boom! Beautiful. That actually, and to my own personal taste, that's too much. Maybe we should darken it up. A little bit there it is right there okay and then um and then uh we can lighten it up here and maybe hit some highlight spots here Boom. There we go. beautiful now look it look now what we did we actually added real physical light and we only use the basic tools in photoshop so the the, the man that's about photoshop fam for real for real like our jokes aside is that understanding how photoshop works and really wrapping your head around each tool and knowing what each tool is there for and how that particular tool can manipulate 
a photo. Alright, thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to sub, like, and hit that bell so you won't miss a beat of that heat that I bring to my lead. Till the next time. See you in a minute. See you when I spin it.